customers are an essential part of any business. Keeping your customer records up to date in Tailwind will make the running of your business from operations to invoicing a lot easier. To create a new customer record, navigate to the customer list using the left navigation bar. Once there, click on the create button above the list of records. This will bring up an empty customer record. Begin filling out the fields to create your new customer. Fields marked in red are required in order to save the record. The internal name is the name that will appear for the customer throughout Tailwind, so make sure it's something everyone on your team will recognize. The legal name is your customer's legal name and is what will print on the invoice to them and can be different from the internal name. The sales rep and account rep fields are meant to indicate whoever in your organization is responsible for this particular customer. These fields will pull from a drop down a person, from your personnel list, so you may need to create a new personnel record if they're not yet in the system. A new location record will automatically be created from the customer address. Let's talk about the customer type for a moment. This gives you the ability to categorize your customers. Choosing the appropriate customer type from the drop-down list, and in most cases, you will want to use merchant as the default type. Each type includes its own set of further details. For example, setting a customer as a carrier will allow you to track their authorities. Note that a customer set as a prospect will not be available when creating orders. This type is useful for potential customers or customers who do not yet have credit approval. One last thing to note about setting the type to carrier or broker will allow the software to recognize that this customer is tax exempt in Canada. We all know there's no tax on freight in the US, but there is in Canada and the software has the ability to enforce Canadian tax rules. Also note that when you choose the customer type, you can further track their cargo and liability insurance requirements or brokers. Once you've finished completing all the details of your customer with their address, note that the billing address can be tracked as well if, in fact, it is different from the physical address. Now, you will want to complete credit information for your new customer. Without this information, you will not be able to create orders for this customer. Setting the customer to approved with an approval date, terms, that's the number of days you are willing to extend credit to this customer and will print on the invoice to the customer. So if your terms are 15 days or 30 days, simply enter it in that field. And the limit. This is the high exposure you are willing to accept for this customer. Noting any details that you've done, such as checking, getting a signed credit application or checking their trade references and bank references, will allow you to come back to this record to see those checks that you might have performed. Once you've entered all the details, you can now click the Create button, which will then save the information. And I suspect you will want to add some additional information, such as contacts. Contacts are the specific people at the customer's company. These are the folks who you actually talk to when negotiating a quote or clarifying the details of an order. Clicking on the Add Contact button will open the Contact Create screen, where you can fill out the relevant fields for your contact. The web username and password is useful 
when you want to assign a unique username and password for this contact to give them access to your customer portal. Once all the information has been entered, again, click the Create button to create that contact, and this will return you to the customer record. You can now also add any notes that you want to keep on this customer. Notes can be useful when tracking any additional information about this per particular customer, such as loading or unloading information, or detailing conversations had with the customer. Invoice codes are used when batching invoices together. That covers off how to create your customer records. Thank you.